NHL 23. Going back to my roots, I guess. This game. Oh, let me tell you, this game is copy and paste from NHL 22, which was copy and paste from 21. These games are so boring. And James Sabalski never shuts up. He's back again. I just hit silence. But none of that matters now. Josh Gordon, that's him right there sitting on the bench or in his locker at the Bell Centre in Montreal. He's about to take on his hometown Toronto Maple Leafs in his first National Hockey League game. Even I'm repping the Toronto Maple Leafs hat in this one. Sorry to offend you, Montreal Canadiens fans. But this is just a video game after all. And the Maple Leafs have Patrice Bergeron. There he is. At the Bell Centre in Montreal. He's jumping on the ice for the first time. As a member of the Montreal Canadiens. The first overall pick is starting this game on the bench. He's getting ready to hop on. It's dumped in and he's on the ice. Gordon coming down looking to help out. There's Tavares so they didn't trade Tavares. They have Bergeron and Tavares. And now Bergeron in front. Oh my goodness, I lost control of the puck there. Lost my man. It's going right in front. Carey Price is going to bail us out and make a save. Not the ideal first shift for Gordon there in the National Hockey League. That's for sure. But Carey Price bailed him out. And the head coach, tall Marty St. Louis, says, You know what, Gordo? You stay out there. Try and get your feet underneath you. And go out there and have an extended shift. And the Maple Leafs are up 2-0 here. No surprise there. Tall Marty St. Louis hasn't played Gordon at all in the first period. And they're down 2-0. Here's Morgan Riley. Turns the puck over. Here's Gordo. He's got the puck. Gordon trying to get around TJ Brody. Looking for help. He gets knocked off the puck, but he's battling with it. Gordon tries to get the puck free, but Austin Matthews comes away with it. Morgan Riley over to Nylander, and the Leafs are out of the zone. Now he's going to hop on here. Gordon's on the ice. And one of his teammates just got leveled there. I think it was by bunting. Patrice Bergeron. Look at that back check. Gaining those extra points. Gordon shadowing Bergeron. And it's a delayed penalty call. It's not Gordon. It's Dadnov going to the box. 4 nothing here for the Toronto Maple Leafs now. The Bluebirds are out at the Bell Centre in Montreal. The Canadians haven't gotten anything going in their home opener. The first game of the year. But now Gordon's coming away with the puck. Gordon in through the zone. Passes in front. And there's a great chance there for a first setup there for Gordon. Now with a good four check, he comes away with the puck. Gordon to the front of the net. Gordon's hopping off the bench here. It's a bad change by whoever was making that change for the Canadians. But somehow the Canadians are going to get out of the zone. With Gordon, he's got a step. Gordon in front. Stopped by Shalgren. Gordon went for the pass, probably should have taken the shot. 17.3 seconds remaining here in the period and Marty St. Louis is keeping Gordon out here for the last couple of seconds he's going to try and get in the lane there the Jeff Petrie blast but Petrie took the shot too quickly Romanov's got the puck apparently he's still playing for the Canadians in this simulation back and forth pass there ends the period and it's been an embarrassment so far for the Montreal Canadiens this has not 
the first game to remember for Gordo. As the Canadians are down four rip here. Here's Tavares into the zone. Gets hit there by Romanov. Tavares slow to get up. Provides a lane for Gordon to get out of the zone. Gordon finds Romanov. Romanov tries to get into the zone. Andre Kashev. Maybe this is last year's rosters. Who knows? And that's why the Leafs don't have a goaltender. Soup's not uh, Soup's not in the net. Here's Kasha the shot. The rebound there. Turned aside. And the Canadians will break this out of the zone. Dvorak finds Gordon. Gordon into the zone. Protecting the puck. Throws it to the front of the net. And Shalgren. I guess he's been strong so far. We haven't really had any chances. At least not in my shifts. Back the other way. Come the Maple Leafs. And Romanov will get it out and deep. I'll try and make the change here. Gordon. Calls for the pass. The shot. Stopped by Shalgren. Gordon with a good look there. There's another look for Gordon with a great stop there by Shalgren. Two great chances there for Gordon to get his first National Hockey League goal in the dying seconds of the game. Gordon behind the net. Stops up. Spins. Gets away from Milligren get, but gets poke checked there by Shalgren. Gordon going after Bunting. Forces a turnover. But Bunting gets the puck back. I think Gordon took a penalty there at the last second. It's not going to matter here. We're in the dying seconds of this game. Liljegren, one last chance. The Canadians touch the puck with 1.8 seconds to go. Gordon's going to go to the box for a slashing call. And that's the only thing on his score sheet in his first National Hockey League game. Two-minute penalty for slashing the Toronto Maple Leafs. Spoil the de debut of the number one overall pick. With a 4 nothing shutout victory over the Montreal Canadiens. First road game coming up here for Gordon in Detroit at Little Caesars Arena. The objective is to score three points this game. Will he do it? And Gordon's on the ice. Petrie will find Gordon. And he brings it into the zone. Slowly in through the zone. Here comes Gordon comes right out in front and it's stopped by Nedeljkovic great look there for Gordon to go high glove but Nedeljkovic was equal to the task there and a dangerous chance turned aside there by the Canadians here's Dvorak with Gordon going to the middle but he was in too deep couldn't get the shot away Gordon spins off his man Gordon around with the, looking for some help can't find it and now he's found a lane Gordon the shot Turned aside by Nadelkovic again. Two shots there for Gordon as he looks for his first National Hockey League goal. Another two goals in that simulation there. The Montreal Canadiens are having a hard time scoring. But here comes Gordon off the bench. Gordon spins off his man. Cuts out in front. The shot there goes off Nadelkovic and wide. Gordon back onto the puck. Gordon's got the puck now behind the net. Gordon, hooked, held on to, delayed penalty call. No, maybe not. Gordon in front, he scores! First National Hockey League goal for Gordon. The Canadians are on the board for the first time this season. The first overall draft pick has come through. Flipping that puck. We're saving that one. Signature NHL goal there from Gordon. The EA Sports signature cut in from behind the net. Backhand. Past the goaltender. 2-1 here. Montreal's on the board for the first time this season. And now the only question is, can he get them even? Hopping off the bench here. Pressure in the zone. Bit of a bad pass there. Got caught up in the skates of Gordon. Was unable to get something going there. Your Zadina. Great stop there by Jake Gallen. The Canadians are out of the zone again. Poke check off the skate there of Dvorak. Gordon gets leveled. And now Sider tries to get the puck out. He finds Robbie Fabry. Through the middle. 
Great defensive recovery there from Gordon. Battle along the sideboards. Bertuzzi out in front. The Red Wings score. The Canadians have gotten one back here. I don't know who scored. I didn't see it. But it's 3-2 here. Gordon's off of his punishment there. And he comes back and shovels that puck right into the pads of Jake Allen to help him cover up. The Red Wings were pressuring there. Montreal's looking for one here. And here comes Marty St. Louis to talk to me. He says, Josh, we're putting the pressure on them. Don't stop now. A goal is really going to put the pressure on them. And I'll go get us a goal. Yes, sir. We have 323 remaining. The Red Wings are on the power play. I feel like my promise to tall Marty St. Louis may have been broken here. Jake Allen hangs on there. The Red Wings have scored another one. It's 4 2. We were unable to sustain the pressure on them, apparently. Shot block there by Gordon. The Canadians are out of the zone again. Gordon's into the zone. Tries to throw the puck into the front and get turned over there. Kind of a weak ass back check coming back here, too. Here's Gordon. Nice defensive zone recovery. Tries to bring it out. He does bring it out. Coach wants him to skate to the bench. He finds Dadanov instead. Back to the point. The screenshot. And Gordon was unable to get his stick on that puck there. And the Red Wings will break it out of the zone again. Suzuki to Gordon. Long shift here for Gordon as the Canadians try to get back into the game. Gordon to the front of the net. Is leveled there. Got a shot on Nadelkovic. Gordon's slow to get up, and he's going to go to the bench now. But can he? Because it's an icing call. Gordon was just leveled there at the end of his shift. They do allow him to make the change, maybe because of an injury. And the Detroit Red Wings will walk away with the victory. Montreal goes to 0-2 on the season. The coach says he can't complain about what I did out there. You know what? The Canadians have two goals this year, coach, and I have one of them. So maybe shut up. I don't understand why it's such a big deal that I'm failing these promises. Like, where are these promises coming from? I just don't get it. Who goes out there and says, yeah, reporter, I'm going to make a three-point game tonight? It just seems a little bit ridiculous. Last game of this episode. We're playing one more. We're going up against Alexander Ovechkin and the Washington Capitals. What's going to happen in this one? We're on the ice for our first shift. Let's find out. Breakout pass there. That was a bad pass. It's going to go for icing. Here's Dvorak. Dvorak wins the draw. It's blocked. understand how you play defense in this game. Orlov. The Canadians have broken it out of the zone. Gordon's got the puck. They'll chip it in. Dvorak the shot. Stop there. Dvorak battling behind the net. Gordon going to the front of the net. Trying to provide a screen and it almost worked. The bells are ringing here at Capital One Arena in Washington as that was a good shift there for the Montreal Canadiens bringing a couple off the post all right Gordon got benched for like a long time there first shift of the second period is coming with seven minutes left in the period what are we playing fourth line minutes here apparently we're down to nothing too let's just bench the most offensive player on the team Sherratt got a challenge there from Gordon but he got the puck out it's another lazy back check there, according to EA Sports. Harry Price coming up with a couple huge saves there. And now Gordon's coming out of the zone. And Gordon's ice time's been very limited. 
Apparently, uh, Marty St. Louis trying to shelter him a little bit. Shelter his minutes. Which probably means that we're not going to be playing very much here. 14.51 to go in the third period. We're back on the ice. But before we do, the coach is going to grab us and say, you know what? I haven't played you all game. But now I need you to score our goal. Yeah, there's a sarcastic roll of the eyes. You tell him, Gordo. You tell him that that's an unacceptable way to treat your star player. Dad enough. Dvorak back on side. To the front of the net, Gordon couldn't get a stick on it. Interesting play there from Christian Dvorak. Quick up for Gordon, turned over. That's pretty much it for that. I mean, we got a goal. Our first ever National Hockey League goal. But we didn't really get much else. Washington Capitals win this game by a score of 3 0. The Montreal Canadiens go to 0 3 on the season. Coach. Did not like our effort. I tried, coach. I tried. Maybe you should just consider that our team's not very good. I had a goal in this episode. Our team only had two. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So if you like this episode, hit the like button, subscribe if you really like it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, which is episode number I don't even know because I didn't check before this, and it's been like 90 days since I posted an episode of this series. Episode number six? Maybe? Maybe it's five. But I'm pretty sure it's six. But maybe this is episode six, and maybe we're playing seven. Who really knows?